Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, new episode uh, on which I keep you updated and also I hope I will try to answer, to answer to some questions that usually I receive via email um, in regards to the evolution of the UFO which basically is always UFO it's just that I've added uh, along these weeks I've coded uh, a couple of uh, sets of uh, new formulas that can provide me even more insight in the eight major currencies uh, of the forex market in order to understand what are the weak and the strong and the conditions of basically overbought and oversold in order to narrow my selection only to the most effective uh, currencies um, actually i am having just the last two trades that i'm waiting to see if i have to close them or not these last two trades were injected very some one hour ago um, and they already provided me this amount of profit but i will show you uh, that uh, that show you the statement so that you can understand uh, I started testing this new feature uh, already in the previous week and on the Friday I injected these orders uh, some of them uh, were floating between positive and negative at the end with CAD especially with CAD because Swiss franc was positive um, in the balance but uh, CAD was having a spike um, providing me a bit of loss in these two positions but these were only the trades that I injected of course with the, um, um, a brand new uh, demo account for purpose of explanation and demonstration um, along anyway with other uh, trades that were uh, in all the cases positive providing me uh, a profit of 1600 on a base of 10,000 um, so I got two negative uh, positions sometimes you trade you have a hundred percent sometimes you have less but as I said in my previous video and this is a bit the continuation of the previous one somehow um, the overall balance is what we need to read and have because we are distributing our risk and managing our risk on multiple assets uh, then after this trade that I closed on Monday morning I created and injected other trades um, guessing and trying also to trade with the OZ USD that was not that much successful was always floating and I was not in a very good point of injection but I would anyway trading coherently Aussie USD and in uh, in buy and GBP Aussie in uh, in sell uh, basically the the currency were moving because of the GBP and uh, anyway with these two main results I got an increment of value of my profit from 1600 to 22 almost 2300 and then uh, one hour ago i injected other other trades which were basically this one this four let me just take this these four trades um so still um no, even even more than this let me just grab it properly yeah this six sorry huh? okay uh, so where USD was traded against the CAD in buy GBP traded against US dollar in sell USD CAD another trade similar to that always in buy and CAD yen and GBP Japanese yen in sell doublet because two they are still running and actually got this maximum of floating trades open which now are, are a bit retracing and 
the curve of the profit with 17 with 18 total trades was anyway incremented to 3600 okay um, so this is what we can see in the stats so you can always check with your MetaTrader platform the time the date the graphics everything as usual I always invite you to do that and now we are on a stationary condition probably there would be maintain this situation where Japanese yen is detected strong in the major uh, time frames so the monthly the weekly and the daily and GBP is detected the weakest of the situation so we are always talking both in the situation in, um, in an exception of weak and strong overbought or oversold so these two conditions are somehow blended together in my calculations and um, as we are assisting here that Japanese yen is detected that we should go uh, long we see that in for example in the one hour time frame and it was also in the 30 minutes before but now it has changed again anyway in the one hour is detected to go short that's why there is a retracement instead of 1300 now I have just 1000 but anyway this is um, an hour where the markets are almost closing for today and I don't will, I would like not to keep the position open and make new trades uh, tomorrow in the next days and attempting to somehow um, Re replicate the process even with more precision but the results are very encouraging because uh, there is this kind of clear detection with two extra formulas that uh, um, that allows us to to immediately have a vision let's take I took the trade, the last trade I took, I took them in this area. Let's show you the GBP Japanese yen. Okay. And I got this very nice south direction of the GBP Japanese yen. And same situation was for the CAD yen. And as we can see also CAD is detected negative even if not that like GBP because in the weekly we see we have a, a magnitude of minus 174 in the CAD compared to a magnitude of a minus 450 of the GBP but anyway is negative and we can trade the the weakest and the over both uh, against the oversold and the strong so Japanese yen in this case Japanese yen is leading the markets for this day I'm always talking about daily situations because pips and profit can be done day by day uh, instead of having of course also I would like sometimes to extend my trades or extend them for a swing trading condition more days but it's obvious that um, today's Monday is the second of there is the 5th of February uh, 2018 and um, as well as Friday and Monday they are very critical days so I wanted also to to test these new formulas in the worst days uh, that we normally have in the forex and we know that Friday and Monday are those days um, so I think that with this um, week of testing that I'm about to lead uh, I will even more have a fine-tuning of the formulas that I'm using and I would like uh, to have to use also this situation for thanking the a lot of mails that I have received and with a lot of questions and unfortunately I cannot reply to all of you 
I would give priority to those who are presenting themselves and explaining a bit the situation or their needs and for those who are willing to support this project there can be an opportunity to, to share even more information. Um, let's do a final uh, closing and a final report. Okay, so, so at the end, between Friday and Monday, because I was asked also that normally I do trades, but uh, I'm not doing them on the very critical days and if it's possible to also I decided to make uh, a video and a test on this on this very uh, days so even and also with some as you can see some negative situation I always traded without using stop loss because there can be a retracement of the price and by if the price hit my, hits a stop loss then you completely lose the opportunity to have a, a great uh, a great amount of profit but in certain conditions I observe anyway the markets and if I think that it's not meant to be that I was guessing too much and hoping that the values were going towards that direction but they were at their limit and that they were retracing I, I'd rather operate manually and this deciding to close the trades keeping a bit of loss but that compared to the overall uh, result it's it's very little okay so this is also a very nice graphic with very few uh, negative lines let's say and we anyway a very good uh, percentage of result with only 20 trades. It's more scalping, there could have been even more uh, short-term operativity. Uh, for example, in the CAD Yen, as we can see, now we are having a retracement at this level, so we could have also stopped here half an hour ago, for example, but now we are going towards the next day. As soon as we hit uh, the midnight, there will be probably an increasement of volatility spreads that will go up for about an hour so all these conditions can also be uh, situations that um, can go against my trade and it's better to wait for the markets to have a repositioning and then trade again or probably there would be also a situation where this uh, trend can continue but there would be anyway a, a, a moment where we hit the London session so maybe with a retracement and a, a good new positioning or probably there's also that there can also be the situation where there would be a floating for a day of this uh, of this stage of pairs and maybe other pairs are moving so I can maybe catch other other currencies to to be traded okay so uh, with this I will I have given you uh, another look look at this moment maybe I could have made even a little bit more if I would have wait but for me this is for giving you um, um, how can I say uh, a demonstration that anyway even if you are not getting a hundred percent of what you can take, you take away a lot. The moment you are um, focusing only on specific currency pairs that are moving the markets for that day, and behaving always with with some care, not to not to think like uh, I want to take the trade for a lot of days, just taking the trade for few hours or maybe the day the whole day that can be enough and can give very nice and important results 
of course I have also my real account trading and that is another story it's my private story as I say to to you all the times even if I receive mails that I'm asking to show my personal uh, personal account that that's why are personal but I of course help you in uh, the detection and also giving you some information at least for what is the markets at this moment what are the markets at this moment that they're set up with this um, example on a demo account which works the same way as a real account because it's receiving the same data from the broker okay so if you want to have a, um, an understanding of the situation of the currency pairs the currencies sorry originated the currency pairs originated by the currencies you can just stop the video and take note of these values thinking always that there can be a reset or that certain values can become even stronger or weaker and determine um, another fluctuation of the markets or in other currencies okay um, so take note about the monthly the weekly and the daily especially but think that at this hour which is around midnight now here in Europe um, there can be some extra movement even in the opposite direction so you have to be careful that around midnight brokers are closing their positions then the spreads are going up so you have to be careful and with this said I thank you for watching my videos for your emails and comments for subscribing this channel and supporting the project and i wish you a good time and as usual a good space bye